Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey, this is page 16 of my mixed media mini art journal series, and I called it Gratitude. Came together quite nicely. I love it. I love how bright and cheery it is, and I love the little bees. It's the first time I've used them. So, here we go. So, I gessoed the page, and I decided to use my watercolor crayons. They're Statler watercolor crayons, set of 12, very simple. And uh, I love using these, I, and I just I haven't used them for a while, but you can just lay down all kinds of color. But you do have to be careful um, when you start adding water so you don't wind up with mud. So I've got like orange, red, purple, yellow, and blue. And uh, I just slapped down the colors over the gessoed page. And it's not a perfectly gessoed page. It's fine. It's got some texture behind it. And the crayons just pick that up nicely. So, and the other page is just protected with some paper and some tape. So, I got my clean water and my watercolor brush, and I start adding some water. I should have done the yellow first. You should do the light first. So, um, I don't know why I went into the blue. I just went into that for some reason. But there's a stencil on there, and I was going to use the word gratitude in that stencil, and uh, it just didn't work out for me, so you'll see what happens in the end. I, it's sitting there, but I wind up not using it. So, and it's really, really cool. It's just like watercoloring, but um, it's a little bit different. So, and if the colors start bleeding together, I wanted my yellow to stay nice and vibrant. I, I love to have that vibrant yellow on my page and I knew that I was going to put tissue paper over this I kind of had a plan and it actually worked out pretty well I didn't deviate too much from the plan that I had in, in mind before I started so just trying to blend my colors a little bit um, with the water but not I still want them kind of separated so I tried it and then decided yep more yellow and I wanted them a little bit more vibrant and I, I blotted it with the paper towel because they started to bleed into each other and I didn't want that so that's like a fuchsia color right there and then there's some more blue and you see how it, you just scribble it on and then you just make the magic happen with your brush and your water and then make sure that you um, get the color off your brush before you go into your next color that's how you wind up with mud so clean your brush as you go for those that don't know I know a lot of you do know so I'm just smearing it you see how that color went through there and I you just blot it up real quick So there we go, super fast background, lots of color. I think it's got some depth to it. And very simple, very easy to do. And you don't have to have a special watercolor brush, you can use whatever you'd like. You can actually just spray water on it and then blot it with the blot it with the towel, but you'll lose a lot of that pigment. But make sure you dry it real good. So those stamps that um, I've got right there. Um, the one with the flowers on it is an Inka Dinka Do stamp set. That one right there, and it is called. Where'd it go? Beauty Stems. It's one of my favorite stamp sets. I love the flower on there, that's my kind of flower. And then the other one is a Graphic 45. Uh, stamp set and there is no name for it on the packaging it's just a Hampton Art Graphic 45 stamp set so what I'm doing on the tissue paper is stamping with archival ink and then just holding it over my page and, and trying to decide, you know, how I want my layout to, to work. And um, for that stamp, what, what I 
did in this one, and here's a tip and trick here. You can turn it, you can turn your tissue paper the other way and have your stamp image flipped. This is another reason why I love using tissue paper. You can stamp on it, and if the direction of the stamp is not what you want, flip it over and you're good to go. And um, you'll see how I made that work for me because I just I didn't want two of the same fly. I wanted two of the flowers, but I didn't want it the same direction. And I didn't want it coming from the top. I didn't like any other angle but flipped. And I'll, I'll tell you how I did that. So there I am messing with that gratitude thing I thought I was going to use. Yeah, it might help to ink that stamp up before I try and stamp with it, right? <laughs> so tired. <laughs> So, and that, that's the same stamp set. Those are the really cool leaves. I love that stamp. So, and I kind of lost the, the scale of the page that I had. So, I want to stamp in these a little bit too far apart. But I still make it work just fine. I wanted more of the leaves. Or the ivy stem, I guess you can call it. I wanted more of that ivy stem visible on my page. So, and I fix that here in a little bit. So I'm just playing with the placement of it and slapping it on there. And then I realize, okay, well, if I have those in there, then I'm going to have to put another flower in there because the, uh, the original one moves down. So um, you just flip your tissue paper over and stamp on it. And then you get the flip image of your stamp. And it still is fine. It's archival link, so you can do with it whatever you will. So I'm playing with it, and I'm like, no, I don't want two flowers side by side going at the same angle. It, it just it doesn't look right, does it? It's just wrong. So I decide to flip my tissue paper over and stamp it on the back side, and I get the flip image of it. And I was happier with that. Flip, mirrored, I don't know. Call it what you will. It's still cool. It's a cool trick. How to get even more out of your stamps. So, and I like that better. And right about then was when I would start thinking, yeah, my sentiment's going to have to change. So that is the uh, Graphic 45 um, small stamp set. I don't know the name of it, guys. I got it from a Tuesday morning. And uh, I was playing with the dragonfly because I love that dragonfly. But the style of the dragonfly just kind of doesn't go with the whimsically type of flowers I have in there. I was trying to make it work. I love that dragonfly, but it's more... Mm, I could have made it work, and I colored a few of them, and I'll use them in something else, but I decided to go with just the cute little bumblebees. I love those. So, and I just quickly colored them and just added a little bit of color because I knew that I was going to stamp directly onto my project and then fussy cut these out and put them over the stamped image. When I fussy cut them out, I leave the legs and the antennas out, and I let the stamp do that really fine detail for me. And I spared you the coloring to get this down like 16 minutes. So, And I'm using my Liquitex Gel Matte Medium, or I'm sorry, Liquid Matte Medium, to adhere my tissue paper down. I didn't want it shiny, I wanted it matte. and that color just shines right through and the cool thing about it and why I make the color so so vibrant and so intense um, before I put the tissue paper on there because the tissue paper obviously kind of fogs it over and mutes it yeah a Liquitex matte medium I was just showing you what I used but um, it's it kind of has the same effect of like a whitewash of gesso over the page but you can stamp on it so 
I rant and rave about the tissue paper stamping thing. I think it's awesome. So I'm using my Inktense pencils just to add some color because uh, I know it'll stay put. And um, just to just, I wasn't too anal about how perfect it was. I'm literally just really quickly slapping on some, some green on there. So, and I'm using my watercolor brush or my water brush and I'm just taking the pigment right from the pencil. It's more um, intense and vibrant that way. If you don't have a water color, a water brush, you could just use a regular paintbrush and just take some water on your mat and add to it. So here I'm just adding just um, real rough color to the flowers, and then I just colored them in. I spared you that. And there is my um, label maker, and I just decided to um, go with a label for my sentiment because gratitude I am full of it every day every day I lay my head down on my pillow and I think I just I'm so thankful that I have a warm bed and cozy bed to sleep in just for the small things those those things that are little to us that are just amazing to other people so I drive around Phoenix a lot and I see people who don't have the simple thing as a roof over their head and a bed to sleep in and I work hard to have what I have but and I don't have an enormous amount, but I sure am thankful for what I have and the opportunities that I have to have it. So. so there we go. So I decided that in the background I needed just a little bit more interest, so I have a little stamp set, and that is Seven Gypsy stamp set. And uh, that one is it's just this collections from the journey is all this says. So and I think it's just a few stamps from that set. So I just needed some text in the background just to add a little bit more interest. I think that really helped tie it together. And then I used my white jelly roll pen, added some white accents here and there. Kind of went a little overboard with it, but I still went with it. Off screen, I did add a little shading underneath the leaves and the flowers with uh, an intense pencil and a brush. Um, it just it needs just a little bit of shading, just a little bit more. So, but I decided the gratitude needed to have be backed in black instead of inked around it. And then since I did some white sketchy highlights here and there, I decided to do it around the um, sentiment as well. And now I'm just figuring out my placement of my little bumblebees. I have three of them. Doesn't matter where I put them; those things are so cute. And then here I am stamping it with archival ink. After I found out where I wanted them. And then I'll just use some glue for the fussy cut pieces. This is a really cool way to add depth to your page, I think, so to stamp it and then fussy cut on top of it. And then, you know, just flip those wings. Just don't glue down the wings and um, just have them kind of flutter in there. And then, they're, you know, it's already got its shadow. It's really cool. Every time I see bumblebees, it makes me think of my friend Renye from Create Boutique here on YouTube. She uses these these little bees, and I forgot that I had this set. And I love it when she, I'm like, oh, I need to get my bees out. So, makes me think of you, Renye, if you're watching. <laughs> so there we go. Let's put it right over your stamped image, and voila, you have all those little details like antennae and legs and that kind of stuff. And I'm just using my quick dry 3M adhesive. It oozes out the sides, but no worries, it dries clear. It looks it's white now, but it dries clear. I'm just wiping off the lid so it doesn't get clogged. And there he goes. Slapping some glue on there. 
And this page did not take very long at all. It was, oh, it was, I needed it. I needed my creative time. It was fabulous. I love page 16 of my little series book. This book is turning out so cute. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm, I'm loving it. There's some breaks in between pages. And I know y'all understand that life happens, but I'm so grateful for you guys following along with this series and leaving all your sweet comments. It makes my day, when I'm having a rough day, I go to my happy place. I go to YouTube <laughs> and hear from all my sweet subbies and friends and you guys are awesome. So there I am. I have my sponge. I have one that is for black soot distressing and one that is for archival. And I write with Sharpie on the blue part of my little foam thingies so that I know which one is which because I don't want to mix them. They each serve a different purpose. So I just ink lightly around the edges to draw your eye in toward the center. Just frame it in. Sign it and date it and I'm good to go. I was having a hard time with my fine tip pens. They weren't working very well over all the medium that I used. So there it is. I hope you guys like it. Super quick and easy. Lots of tips and tricks for how to get the flip image of your stamps and flip over that tissue paper. So I hope it helped. Hope you learned something and you're motivated to make something and um, inspired to make something beautiful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Lots more to come.